Hello. Um, in this uh, lesson, we are going to uh, do some more work. So this is what we are aiming, the elements we're aiming to have, be a way to create a new article, a new post, a search, a way to display our posts here with these actions and the navigation. So we need all this on our page. All right, so if we uh, go into our index, I'm going to get rid of this and create a new paragraph and I'll say create a new link, link to new post and go to the new uh, method in our controller for post. All right, so let's have a look. So this is here. When we click on this, it takes us to the to right resource. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add this section. All right, so I'm going to say BS3. So this is a plugin that we used, we created in uh, Bootstrap Lessons. So if you didn't do that, uh, just pause um, and copy and paste um, this table as I'm doing it now. All right, so we are setting some headers for our table. So this is the actions. And here, just paste this three times. And the first one will have the title. But before that, I'm going to do this here. So the table row is going to be repeated um, over and over again. So over here, I'm going to say posts, which will come from a controller. So each of the posts will be yielded into post. So this is a reference. And we end uh, each statement here. So just clean this up a little bit and clean this here. So our instance variable posts um, needs to be set somewhere. So this is where it's set in the index method in our controller. So we are saying get all our posts from a database and put it in our post instance variable and we we'll have to loop through each one of it here and reference it within um, the block as post. So here we can now say post.title so this will give us the title of the first iteration and the second iteration and so on and so on. So, so here we say give us the, the publish um, status and here we have our actions. So things you can do like edit, show, delete. So we create a link here that says edit and we point to a resource. So it's an edit um, admin uh, post path. So this really does make our life a lot easier, having this helper methods. So at the very end, I'm going to put a pipe and copy and paste this and just change some things. Like this becomes show, uh, show targets one uh, resource, so it's targeting one post. And then do the same here, we have um, delete. So delete is targeting the same as show, but we make it different. Um, by specifying that this is a, a method delete as opposed to get and then we say data confirm so this is just a, a JavaScript, JavaScript pop-up that will come up and say are you sure you want to delete this record something like that are you sure remove the pipe all right so let's see what we've done reset the page and we have our posts here we can see the very long title uh, publish and actions so we have a helper called truncate so truncate is here it helps us shorten down um, down any long words or sentences that we want all right so let's see how we can do that so cut uh, post title and then just simply say truncate and then pass in our post title as the argument so we give it a length. So we say after 60 characters, um, separate it with um, um, space, nothing, um, basically cut it down there. So this is going to cut it down and make sure that we have dot, dot, dot at the end. So that's what Truncate does. All right, so in this lesson, we have recreated some of these sections, um, actions there, 
and that's what we have here we can click on edit and it gives a goes to edit and we could do the same with show uh, delete wouldn't delete anything yet um, so we have a few more things navigation and search um, still needs to be done so this is where we can stop in this lesson and um, in the next lesson we'll carry on and style some more or add some more of the elements so i'll see you in the next lesson